Okay guys, so this is the first video about the pre-training for AutoCAD 2013. So the way you can access to this training, it's going to my channel. It's going to be inside inside my channel. So you can click on uh, on my on my video. You look for my channel, and you will start watching some videos about AutoCAD, Visual Basic, and different tutorials. I will make a a playlist so you can watch all the tutorials that I have similar to this and you will see uh, all the tutorials for AutoCAD 2015 and uh, even after when we get the 2014-15 we will receive tutorials so we are going to start with the, um, with the first uh, tutorial that is AutoCAD uh, 2015 interface so as you can see we have Windows, we have a ribbon we have different uh, buttons that we can click on, on on the program so the first thing we're going to do is going to start learning how to make uh, our first line so the first thing we do is we go to line we click line after it asks you a specify a first point so you click first uh, you click on, onto the screen and as you can see the the line is being created but it's not yet created you need to specify the second point so i put the second point and i still have uh, i still can create more lines so i can continue creating lines and until i uh, i press the the key escape on your keyboard so if i press escape this is going to disappear and i will i will have to uh, click the bottom line again so I, pr I press escape and as you can see it disappeared and it created me this line so other way to do it is if you want to create lines or, or a drawing with a specific dimension you can you can click line you choose uh, the first point and you write which dimension do you want so let's say I want a uh, square of 100 centimeter so I put 100 I click enter I move my my cursor down on the bottom because I want a, a line of 90 degrees and I put 100 again and I click enter so I can make zoom uh, in, in, in my in my AutoCAD uh, with the with a little um, um, with, with your mouse and you can uh, continue making line so 100 and I click enter so I can go up and 100 I click enter and since I since I finish my square I just press escape okay <coughs> so um, this is uh, to create a square you can create different shapes so you, you have different tools uh, onto the ribbon and you have different tabs the, that you can do different things uh, with each tab. So let's say that I want to, to to put dimensions for my drawing. So I go here to the annotate uh, tab and I click dimension. I make zoom into my drawing. I click the corner of my drawing, and after it asks me a specify second line, so I choose where I want to put my 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 dimension from where to from which point and to which point I want to do. As you can see, you can see the dimension here, um, one hundred. So let's do something a little bit more complicated. Uh, let's do let's do some exercises. Okay, so we are going to create different uh, squares. Uh, maybe fifty by fifty. The same thing as we create the first one. Okay, now this is this is the um, the first square I create. I want to copy that s a square, so I will click next to my drawing. I will move my cursor uh, over the over the circle, and once I cover the circle, I will I will lift my I will lift up my 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 left uh, my left click, and it's going to be selected. Now, if I choose 
the the bottom copy I can copy that specific square and I can move it wherever I want so I, I move it right here and I click OK I can make another one OK I can make another one OK uh, to escape from the command you can always use the escape button in your keyboard so you can continue working with that so I, ha I have my square I want to create a circle inside that square so one way I could do it is I choose line I put I draw a line from from the from the corner of my square and I draw another line from the corner of my square to the second corner so this is my center of my square and I can just go to circle choose the center of my square and make a line uh, up to the up to the edge of my of my of my square and it's going to create my circle inside so you can create that you can create a triangle inside the inside the um, your, your square so same thing you, you put from corner to corner corner to corner okay one nice uh, fe fe feature from AutoCAD 2015 is that if you choose like let's say the center and you move uh, on, on that line it's going to create you a, this line it's like a guideline that you can use to make your, your drawings more precise so this is my middle point I can click here and I can click the corner here so I can create um, a, a, a triangle in, in inside my square so as you can see I create a triangle uh, to, to delete this, uh, I, I, ch I choose the, the item that I want to delete and I press the, the, the delete key so let's say I want to do an <coughs> a different shape here so what I can do is maybe uh, a triangle with an, with an square inside in the middle so I do, I do the same thing Uh, and I put a, tri a triangle inside in the middle from here to here from the middle it's the same shape as the as the previous one but now we're going to put a circle inside that square. so as you can see you can create different different shapes inside AutoCAD and it's very useful for, for that and to create um, to create drawings for for mainly like technical processes. So this is just basic shapes. But in in more in the next in the coming videos, you will see how to create um, um, more shapes. You you will see how to use AutoCAD in a more uh, interme intermediate and advanced way. So you can use the layers. You can use all the tools that AutoCAD has and we are going to explain each one of them like uh, in step by step so you can you can learn AutoCAD very easily mm -hmm. so I will, I will show you some other features that we have here on AutoCAD so this is a, a line as you can see the line is by itself let's say I want a line that uh, it's integrated the four pieces of the four edge of my square so the way I will do that instead of choosing line I will choose polyline and I will start making another square so I choose here I choose 50 50 I choose 50 again and I can close my square just clicking on the corner so I press the, the key escape and as you can see this makes a one one single line mm -hmm. this is very useful when you're when, when you cut your pieces into a CNC or into a laser mm -hmm. laser cutting machine okay so this is the the, the polyline the polyline button we saw how to do a circle you have different ways to do a circle uh, center and radius center and diameter 
two points, three points. Uh, in the next videos, we're going to see how to work with that. We can make arcs. So the way an arc works is you choose one corner, you choose the other corner of your arc, and you choose like the inclination that you want to have. So let's say I wanted to to be the middle of my of my of my point, like around over there. You see how the arc uh, create created with only three points. So that's what you ca uh, that you can do an arc with that, mm -hmm. and you can use the the different uh, tools. So you can click move. You choose the objects that you wanna that you wanna move. And you click enter. After uh, tells you from where you wanna take that uh, object and move it to where what place. So I, w I choose that I want to move it from this corner. So as you can see, my drawings move from from the cursor to the place that I want to put it. So uh, let's say I want to put it here in the corner. It's uh, it's moved automatically into that place. Okay. So we see the we see the move how it works. We see the copy. We're going to to see how to rotate our object. So uh, you will see like a small a small little uh, square into in that tell you what the, what is the function or what is the what you need to do so i will choose the the my 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 image and i will click enter so from which part i want to 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 rotate my 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 piece so i choose from this corner and i will start moving if i wanted to 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 to, to do it into a very specific angle i can write the angle let's say 45 degrees and I click enter. As you can see, the the square moved 45 degrees, and my my shape uh, already changed. That's for um for 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 the rotate uh, uh, for the rotating um button. We're going to work with the mirror. So let's say I want to copy this part uh, mirror next to that. So I choose the the com the command mirror. I choose the piece that I want to mirror and I click enter. So I, I choose from where I want to mirror it. So I choose this corner and I start just moving. As you can see, it start it, it start creating the mirror. So if I want it at 90 degrees, it's going to create me that. And it asks me, do you want to erase the object uh, that was previously created? I create no, so it's going to create me two. If I put uh, the word Y, it's going to delete me the, the 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 piece that I have there, and it's going to create me the other piece only. So I want to keep both, so I put N and I click Enter. So you can see I have two rounds now. You can mirror it again in the opposite direction. So I put mirror. I choose this corner, and I just move it into into an, into a straight line, and I click Enter. I don't want. I, I want to keep both, so I put no. Uh, I click enter. You can see I have my drawing, so I can I can select this drawing, and I will copy this drawing to show you how the scale works. Okay, so I have this drawing now. What I want to do is I will choose all the components of this drawing by. Um, by by selecting this um, component, and I will put a scale. So when I choose a scale, it asks me from which point where I uh, I want to start making my scale. So I choose this point or any point in your in your graph, and I want to. Uh, uh, and after it's going to ask me what is the factor of the scale. So if I wanted to make it two times bigger, I put two. And as you, as you can see, this piece is the double of this piece if i want to make it even bigger i will i will i will make um i will choose this one and i will put a scale of three so this this is going to multiply me three times so it's going to be a very big uh, a very big shape so let's say i wanted to do uh, backwards i wanted to make it smaller so the same thing, I choose my scale uh, command and I click the where I want to start my scale and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put point 
and uh, the percentage that I want that image. Let's say I want half of that image, so I will put 0.5 or 0.50 percent. So I will put enter, and it's going to be half of the image. If I want to have theory, I will choose a scale, and I will choose uh, 30 percent, 0.30 percent, and it create me 30 percent of the image that I have. Okay. So that's for the scale command. I will I will show you how you can use trim. Let's mm -hmm. say that you have a, a a a shape like that, and you have your uh, extended external uh, extended lines, but you don't want those ones. So what you do? So you select the the complete uh, piece that you wanna that you want to remove these pieces like the the exceeded pieces and you click trim <coughs> when you click trim this is going to show you like a dotted line around the circle that means that you can start working under that piece so this piece is um it's like horizontal and this one is vertical and this is parallel to that so if I want to remove this one I will click here and it's going to remove me that piece of the of the drawing I will click this one and it's going to remove me as well so as you can see this piece is already complete so I cannot delete and basically that's the trim option okay so this is just the beginning of this tutorial if you want to watch more, more videos about AutoCAD, you can go onto my channel. There will be a lot of videos uh, very soon. So you can start watching and learn how to use AutoCAD 2015. Also, you will learn how to use Visual Basic and Photoshop and different software. Mm -hmm. So please like this video, share it with all your friends. My name is Juan Jose, and I will be your instructor on how to learn all those programs. If you have any questions, please leave it on the comments and I will gladly answer to your questions. Also, you can send me an email. So if you go to my channel, on my channel, you can see my email right here. So you can send me uh, emails with questions or uh, regarding any of the videos that I have and I will answer to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching and uh, wait for the for the next videos that are coming very soon and thank you bye